let's solve this question together. It says x over 5 dot x over 5 is equal to 5 over x dot 5 over x. We are required to solve for the values of x. Okay? First things first, when you see dots, it means multiplication. And you can easily replace this with multiplied by and multiplied by. Okay? Now, we have x times x to the x squared divided by 5 times 5 is 5 squared. To be equal to, this is 5 squared. And again, this is x squared. Sorry, x squared. Okay? Now, moving on from here, we can say, let's cross multiply. We have x squared times x squared to be equal to x raised to power 4 to be equal to 5 squared times 5 squared to be equal to 5 raised to power 4. Okay? Hence, we have that x raised to power 4 is equal to 5 raised to power 4. Now, solving this, you can see that you can simply say that x is equal to plus or minus 5. Reason being that um, if you cancel out the powers, you have plus 5. And if, since the power is positive, you can also have minus 5. But then watching closely, you see that the number of answers for x is supposed to be equal to the highest power of x. And the highest power of x is 4, but we only have two answers here. So let's find the remaining two answers for x. Okay? Now, something for the remaining two answers for x, you can say that x raised to the power 4 minus 5 raised to the power 4 is equal to 0. Okay? From here. Now, from here, we can also say something. Remember the law that says that a raised to the power m or raised to the power n is equal to a raised to the power m multiplied by n, okay, from indices. Applying this law here, we can factor out 2 from both powers to become x raised to the power 2 or raised to the power 2 minus 5 raised to the power 2 or raised to the power 2 is equal to 0, okay. We'll consider in creating difference of two squares from here. So as you can see, this is x squared squared minus 5 squared squared. So using the difference of two squares, we have x squared minus 5 squared multiplied by x squared plus 5 squared to be equal to 0. Now, from here, using the difference of two squares, we're going to have plus or minus 5 from here. Okay? But then from here, which is the remainder of the answers you're looking for, would have x squared plus 5 squared. Now, remember that when two things are multiplying to give you 0, it's either the first one is equal to 0 or the second one is equal to 0. So let's assume that this is equal to 0. Okay. Now we have from here that our x squared is equal to negative 5 squared. Okay. Hence our x now will be equal to plus or minus square root of negative 5 squared, all right? Now from here, you can see that we have negative 5 squared. We can simply say that this is equal to plus or minus square root of minus 1 times square root of 5 squared, okay? Because this will still give negative 5 squared. And this becomes equal to plus or minus square root of negative 1 is i, so we have that this is i, and square root of 5 squared is 5, okay? So we have 5. And then this is equal to plus or minus 5i, okay? So x is either equal to plus or minus 5i, or x is equal to plus or minus 5, okay? So these are the answers for this question. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.